Happy Sunday, everyone. It's a beautiful Sunday here in Lagos, Nigeria. My name is Lillian Ogedegbe, and I'm reaching you live from the national headquarters of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the Throne of Grace Parish. The Igbo has a white saying, I'm talking about the Igbo people in Nigeria, they have a white saying that goes that when a man thanks the king for what he's done, he would definitely do more. That means the king will do more. Now, as a Christian, you must learn to thank God for every situation, especially when you know that God is blessing you. And that's what we are here to do, to join one of our pastors, Assistant Pastor Senator Oluremi Tinubu, as she celebrates her 60th birthday. Now, just in you do not know how, okay, here is her face. And so we are here at the national headquarters of RCCG in Nigeria to celebrate God's faithfulness in the life of Senator Oluremi Tinubu. My name is Lillian Ogedegbe, and right now we are having a prayer section for her, being led by Pastor Mrs. Rachel Odeshola. Welcome everyone, and let's go now into the church to have a wonderful time in God's presence, celebrating his faithfulness. In Jesus' name, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration for the ministries you have committed into our hands. Thank you for the type of heart you have given to her. We magnify your name, everlasting Father, for your grace that has sustained her, for your mercy that has kept her. Glory be to your name, O God, in Jesus' name. Today, O God, as we go on in this service, we pray that your presence will be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will take control of this service in the mighty name of Jesus. You will breathe unto your daughter in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say, our Lord and our Redeemer, that everyone who has gathered, O oh God of Israel, to celebrate your daughter, celebration will not cease in your life too in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name, O oh God. Every blessing that will be released upon your daughter today, Father, Lord, it shall be permanent in our life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of God. As we say, accept our thanks, O Lord. In Jesus' victorious name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord.
please allow me. I'm here to give um, a testimony. My name is Olaomi Alimi. I'm here to give a testimony. Firstly, I'd like to thank God on behalf of our mommy, Mommy Oluremi Tinubu, um, for her continuous life of sacrifice and continuous life of giving. Alongside other young girls in 2015, two of my siblings were part of the um, Leadership Academy for Girls. And um, it was a very, very intensive training that really, really gave them a wide scope on what leadership entails. And I also have also participated in the Musical Youth Fiesta Initiative that has been running for quite a while now. And it has been very life-changing. I pray that God blesses her, God keeps her from now, and God blesses the work of our hands in Jesus' name. Amen.
church. My name is Olano Diadironke. I'm one of widows in this church. I thank God for Mommy Olure Mitinumbu for her birthday today. May she live long and prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. I, she did a lot of things in my life, which is uncountable for me, but at least I will say one. At least she paid one of my children's school fees twice. May she live long for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Please let's celebrate God in the life of our beloved Senator Luremit Tinumbu. God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, the next thing, we will be having a Bible reading, and that will be handled by one of our beloved pastors, Pastor Adibayo Adiemo. Thereafter, we have um, Sister Oba will be coming in for a special rendition, and um, Brother Mike Akimbala will follow suit. Then we have our beloved Pastor Kunle Ajayi. Thereafter, we we'll listen to the word coming from our beloved daddy, Pastor J.F. Odeshola. I'd like you to please sit tight because God promised to do something wonderful in our midst today in Jesus' name. God bless you. Shout hallelujah. The only Bible reading this afternoon to celebrate the faithfulness of God in the life of our dear beloved mommy, a great mother, a great minister of God in Redeemed Christian Church of God, a great leader in Nigeria and a great mentor of youth is Psalm 136 Psalm 136 verses 1 to 26 Psalm 136 verses 1 to 26 I read Oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods for his mercies and endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords for his mercies and endureth forever. Verse 4. To him who alone doth great wonders for his mercies and endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercies and endureth forever. To him that stretched out the heart above the waters for his mercies and the rest forever. Verse 7. To him that make great light for his mercies and the rest forever. The sun to rule by day for his mercies and the rest forever. The moon and star to rule by night for his mercies and the rest forever. To him that smote Egypt in our firstborn for his mercies and the rest forever. And brought out Israel from among them. For his mercies endure forever. With a strong hand and with a stretch out arm. For his mercies endure forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts. For his mercies endure forever. But overthrow Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. For his mercies endure forever. To him which led the people through the wilderness. For his mercies endure forever. To him which most great king for his mercies endure forever. And slew famous kings for his mercies endure forever. Sion king of the Hamorites for his mercies endure forever. And Hog the king of Basham for his mercies endure forever. And gave their land for an heritage for his mercies endure forever. Verse 22. And even an heritage unto Israel his servant for his mercies endure forever. Who remembers us in our low estate for his mercies and daughter forever and has redeemed us from our enemies for his mercies and daughter forever? Who giveth food to all flesh for his mercies and daughter forever? Finally, verse 26. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven 
on behalf of our darling Senator Oluremi Tinubu, Assistant Pastor in Redeemed Christian Church of God. Let all of us say, for his mercies and your earth forever. Shout glorious hallelujah. We celebrate the faithfulness of the Lord and the life of our mother. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, I'm also one of the beneficiary of the Musical Youth Fiesta Initiative. And by the grace of God, I happen to be the first winner of the Musical Youth Fiesta Initiative. Please let me just jam your hands together, full of God, and I celebrate God in the life of our mother, our dear mother, loving mother, very wonderful mother, Mommy Olure Mitinobu. And we thank God for your life, for your spoken words to me on that altar, that day on camp, I will never forget. Thank you very much. It's keeping me in peace. God bless you. Amen. Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please. 
hear my heart cry I'm desperately waiting to be where you are I'll cross the altar desert I'll travel near offer Lord if I Lord if I find favor in your sight Lord keep hear my heart cry hear my heart cry Jesus I'm desperately waiting we are waiting to be Lord, if I, Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be. is where you are like she always shows us love peace is where you are charity is where you are like she always do joy is where you are i want to be i want to be where you are lord i want to be i want to be where you are let nothing stop me from coming in
The King of Glory, we worship your name this particular afternoon. Thank you for your daughter celebrating her 60th birthday. Thank you, Almighty God, that she has impacted and is still impacting lives. We worship your name. And in the middle, O oh God, of darkness, a light can shine. The voice of integrity can be loud and clear. Lord Almighty, we say thank you. We have come, O oh God, to celebrate her this afternoon. And a few words that we need to read from the scripture will bring blessing to her life, her family, and the family of, the, of God the Father, the family of the church, and everyone that gather and that are linked all over the world to watch in the name of Jesus. Father, empower your word and continually encourage your daughter. Thank you, Father. We bless and praise your name. We agree together, even O oh God, before we uh, put the, the blessing on, on the word, the Lord, that this your daughter will go from glory to glory. Anointing to anointing, favor to favor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Please take your seat for a few minutes. I'll be giving some few minutes to share the word. And I want to congratulate a sister, a mother, and a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Now, Daddy Gio is the general overseer of the entire church. But Daddy happened to be our own pastor. Because Daddy Gio is the pastor of this particular church. Constitutionally, he is the pastor in charge. So, um, on behalf of him and the entire pastorate, we are saying to you, uh, Assistant Pastor Luremitinubu, congratulations. Happy birthday to you in the name of Jesus. I want to read and I want to praise God for all the people who have come to celebrate. I learned some people also are in the church from various places to celebrate the woman of God. In the time of your celebration, God of heaven will bring people around you. And you have come to the source of the redeemed Christian church of God today. You will go with multiple blessings. This is the venue where prayers, I mean, prayer, prayers are answered before you pray them. Nobody has ever stepped into this compound without receiving blessing. You will carry your blessing home. Open with me to the book of Psalm 90 verse 12. Psalm 90 verse 12. Psalm 90 verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. The Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word in the name of Jesus. I want to say something on enjoy the rest of your life by the principle of God. Enjoy the rest of your life by the wisdom of God. Everybody passes through different phases in life. Childhood, youth, adulthood, and old age. And we bless the name of God that when you come to Christ, a fool as 40 is not a fool forever. God can begin with you any time, any day. David, the young man who defeated Goliath at the age of 17 said, teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart to wisdom. I'd like to bring some few principles that is wisdom in the, in the book we read to, for our beloved sister and pastor Onura Mitinubu and for everyone who determined to enjoy the rest of their lives. How do you apply the principle of the world to enjoy your life? Number one, it's for you to remain original as you are made. You are original from the Lord. In Genesis 1.26, Genesis 1.26, the Bible says, let us make man in our image and let them have 
dominion and authority. And so he made man in his own image. You are an original. Don't be a photocopy of anyone. And don't build a case against yourself. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 13 verse 23. Jeremiah 13 23. He said, can Ethiopian change his skin? Or a leopard is spot. So we need to just be ourselves. Be original as you are made. A young boy was reprimanded by his father. And he went to the side of the hill and said, Daddy, I hate you. And the echo came back to him. I hate you. And he ran back to the house and said, Daddy, somebody was there telling me I hate you. And Daddy said, Go back and say I love you. And he said, I love you. And the thing came back, I love you. Life is like an echo. It gives back to you what you put into it. Be yourself. That's number one. You are original. You are made like God. You must live like him. You must walk like him. You must talk like him. You must behave like him. So, you need to be yourself. Number two, don't allow any distractions. Many a time, compliment could be a distraction. Because there are people who are willing to flatter in order to get their way through. And there are people who are willing to do anything to criticize. It doesn't matter what you do in life. Those who are criticizing, they don't have any other work other than criticizing. And those who achieve things, they are only focused. And they focus on God. And the Bible said, in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, Hebrews 12, 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Paul wrote in his book, in Philippians 3, reading it, you're reading from verse 12. You are reading what? He said, one thing I do, forgetting those things that are past, because there is no future in the past. You must avoid distraction. In the book of Luke, chapter 11, 27, Luke 11, 27, a woman, when Jesus was preaching, shouted, blessed are the pop you suck. But that looks like a compliment, but it's a distraction. Jesus said in verse 28, Luke eleven twenty-eight, 28, he said, Blessed is he that hear the word of God and keep it. So you must focus on God, focus on where you are going, focus on your vision. In Proverbs 14, 12, Proverbs 14, 12, there's a way that seemed good unto man, the end thereof is destruction. Number three, enjoy what God has given to you. You don't need nobody permission to enjoy the rest of your life, to be happy. Solomon said, one thing I have discovered under the sun is for man to eat, enjoy themselves, and do, and do good. Don't get, don't let anybody get you agitated. Just enjoy. Every condition that comes to you, just thank God and move on. Enjoy the rest of your life. Just enjoy it. Number four, make sure that you don't allow any people to divert you from the life of integrity. Don't allow anyone. And that's in the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Galatians 6, 7. He said, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sow, he will read. You must live a life of integrity. Integrity is something that pays off. And you can only live a life of integrity as you hold to the word of God. Because the word of God is a solid thing you can rely on. And lastly, which is number five, never you stop to appreciate God. And that's what the church has come to do today, to appreciate God for a woman who can, um, who can just be selfless and do all kind of things. If we give people room and leverage for testimony in this house, we will not go. And not just the church, it is all over. And so, you need to appreciate God. You need to appreciate him and thank him. The Bible said in Psalm 103, verse 1 to 5. 
Psalm 103, 1 to 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefit. And he listed what he has done. The passage that the man of God read to us as the Bible reading, he said, for his mercy endureth forever. The mercy of God is forever. And in the book of 1 Peter 2.9, 1 Peter 2.9, the Bible says we are a royal priesthood, peculiar people. We are delivered to be able to praise him. With these few things, you can move on on the path of life and enjoy the rest of your life. He said, teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart to wisdom. We pray today that the God of glory shall continue to bless and to bless you and to keep you and continue to bless everyone listening to us in the name of Jesus. If you are here this new time, you have not given your life. Give God a chance to save you. Or you are listening. Wherever you are listening in the world, on Zoom, on Twitter, on Facebook, you are listening through radio or you are watching through television, give God a chance. You have suffered enough. Let him come and perfect your life. Let him come and rejuvenate your life. The Bible said, as many as believe him, John 1, 12, he gave them power to become. And I pray today he will save and deliver everyone that want to give their life. Rise up with me. Let us pray. I have just a few minutes to pray. But I want you to pray for yourself. And said on this occasion, Lord, I release my life unto you. And those who want to give their life, wherever you are, you put your hand on your chest. And I will pray with you as we pray along for the um, woman of God celebrating her birthday. Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus. Eternal Father, we want to thank you for your word. Thank you because the entrance of your word giveth light. Lord, these few people that are putting their, heart on, their hand on their chest in this house, I ask that God himself will manifest himself in salvation. He will save and forgive your sin. It will cleanse you in the name of Jesus. You are the fruit of the birthday of this woman of God today. The almighty God that have uphold her through thick and thin, either two, it will uphold you. The power to serve God, God will give unto you. And together we'll make it to heaven. Lord, we pray for the celebrant of today. Assistant Pastor Onura and Mitinobo, we declare that this particular day of your birthday, may the good Lord continually bless you. May he bless your family. Long life, may God give unto you with good health. Prosperity and peace of mind, may God give unto you. As you serve your family, as you serve this nation, your service will continually be acceptable unto God in the name of Jesus. Everyone that fight with you, God will fight with them. Every evil weapon directed towards you will back it to sender. We pray that God will cover you under his umbrella. No evil will come near you. No evil will come near your children. No evil will come near your family. No evil will come near your husband. No evil will come near your relative. No evil will come near all your word and your peers in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that all your desires, the Almighty God will grant it. Our Father in the Lord has, pray, has been praying for you and our mother in the Lord. We pray that their prayer over you will be answered. And we pray in this house, the RCCG throne of grace, the number one church of RCCG today, that the blessing that God has declared in this house for everyone that is a part will be upon your life. God has declared to us that anyone that belongs to this house, they will be heard and not detailed. You will never become tail. And as you serve God, God will reward you. You will enjoy the rest of your life peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. We will make it on earth here and we will make it to the kingdom of heaven. Everyone say amen. God of heaven will give you double of this prayer. Thank you because it is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
and let someone say amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A wise man once said in person of John C. Maxwell, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. We thank God for the life of our beloved Senator Oluremi Tinumbu. We also want to appreciate um, Sister Oba and um, Brother Mike Akingbala for that wonderful rendition. All They are both from the Hallelujah record of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you. One hallelujah record of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Thank you for that correction. Next on our order of service is um, we're going to be having a combined praise from the choir followed by the celebrants. We want to know who our beloved senator is. Day after a, a time of um, testimony and cutting of the cake handled by our beloved mommy at DMO. Day after we have the group photograph. Praise the Lord. Choir. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy
Just to share small testimony about our mommy, assistant pastor, Oluremi Tinumbu. Praise the Lord. I'm going to summarize her in, with three Ps. Our mommy is very passionate. She's very progressive. And she's a very private person. Praise the Lord. She's progressed. She's, I mean... She's very passionate with the work in the, I mean, with, in the work of God. If you notice her, anything to do with God, she takes interest. No matter how massive it is, she does not compromise God for anything. If you tell her this, like you've heard from some of the testimonies we've got today, you will know that, look, Everybody cannot be saying, getting it wrong with her. She is very passionate. If you, look, if you ask the elders today to come and tell us about her, you will hear abundant testimonies. The choir, the ushers, all the departments in the church, she has impacted every one of us. And we want to give glory to God for that. She's a very progressive woman. She wants progress for everyone around her. Everybody around her, she wants progress. Praise the Lord. I'll just share one, small, one line testimony. There was a day I happened to be with her in, her car, in, in a car that was not hers. And she was, they were driving out of her house. She didn't know the people at her gate. And they did not know she was the one going out. But sighting people at the gate, I was shocked to the bone. She just told the driver, driver, please wait, wait, wait. And she waited. She didn't know these people. Her passion for them drew her to stop. And she collected their request. She was even dialoguing with them, discussing with them. And that thing blew my mind that ah, this woman really loved the people. She's a woman of the people. So when they left, I asked her, I said, ah, ah, and you believe what they said? And she said one thing. She said, Tabara iro So that means if you don't buy lies, you cannot buy the truth. She's a very private person. She does not compromise her family, her marriage, her children, her husband. You want to see the other side of her? Go and infringe, infringe in her privacy. She wants to be by herself and by her family and by God. 
and I pray that the Lord God Almighty that she's holding on to will hold her on to the end in the name of Jesus. She will not sorrow over herself, not over her children, not over her husband in the name of Jesus. We are going to do the cutting of the cake now. And I'm going to invite some people to come up to cut the cake. We can't call everybody. If we say, let everybody come, I'm sure this cake will fall off before 10 people come out. So I'm going to call a representative of the choir, the choir leader, the representative of the ushers, the usher leader. I'm going to call a representative of the, um, of the elders. Somebody is going to represent the good women. Then we call the pastors, the pastorates of the church and all the pastors on the altar. Then we have some distinguished ministers with us here. So we are going to invite them, the senatorial I mean, women leader, her constituency senatorial women leader. She's here with some people. So we want you please to join us in cutting the cake to celebrate our mommy. Please, the pastorates will come out first, please. And we are going to do it very snappy. Praise the Lord. Please, choir leader, Pastor Kulia Jai, please join us. Yes, sir. Please, the choir leader will join as well. Please, let's quickly do it. Daddy and mommy, please join us. Mommy Ajayi Oba, mommies, please join us. Praise the name of the Lord. Please. Let's quickly do it fast now. Sister Irene Kefe, representing the good women. Mommy, please join us. Daddy and mommy, please join us. Please. Elder, we need the representative of the elders to join us. Pastor K. Oh, okay. Sorry. Women leader, please, ma, and your, please, we want your, your group to join us, please. Please, we are almost rounding up. Please, we are waiting for you, mommy. Women leader, I don't know. Dr. Oluwale, please, we are waiting for you. Please jo join us. I see you right there in the beauty of nature. You shine all around. You are everything. Everything is you. Precious Jesus. Where's the women leader, ma? You are going to cut the cake on behalf of mommy, Everything is you. Precious Jesus.
praise the Lord. The conclusion of this wonderful 60th birthday celebration in Oluremi, Tinumbu. We have a short uh, video for um, her, just for us to know who Senator is. I don't know whether the media... Are you ready? Okay. Media, are you ready? Okay, why the is excellency We are gathered here to celebrate God. Lura Mitinumbu was born. Emi College of Education in those states. She thereafter obtained a bachelor's degree in biology education from the prestigious Obafemi Awolowo University, Lefe. Senator Lura Mitinumbu is married to His Excellency Ashiwa Jubola Met Tinumbu, the highly respected national leader of the ruling party APC. She's blessed with wonderful children who are successful in their chosen career. She became the first lady of Lagos State between 1999 and 2007. She's a distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and has been elected four consecutive times. She covers Lagos Senatorial District. In appreciation of her good work and contribution to the nation, she badged the national honor, OON, Officer of the Order of the Niger. Her drive for excellence and love for humanity made her to establish the New Era Foundation, a non-profit organization dedicated to youth development, girl-child education, women empowerment and inspiring young persons to excellence and also a home for childless widows called patient home the vision of this is to improve their lives as many of them have been thrown out of their matrimonial homes by their husband's relations senator lura mitinumbu has executed a lot of philanthropic acts to alleviate the plight of indigent persons and most importantly she has touched the lives of girls and women in her constituency she is a woman of many achievements. She has also written a number of publications, including an autobiography, The Journey of Grace, My Faith Work. Therefore, in recognition of her achievements and contributions to societal development, to the glory of God, she has been honored both locally and internationally. Our celebrant is a lover of God and his kingdom on earth. She was ordained assistant pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God in August 2018. Place with Jesus' joy in her heart and his standing ovation. Join me as we wish our beloved mommy, Senator Lure Mitinumbu, a happy 60th birthday celebration. Happy birthday, mommy. We love you. God bless you. again we celebrate the grace of God upon the woman of God and we thank you for everyone that have gathered God will bless you in Jesus name shall we close this meeting with prayer shall we pray father in heaven we thank you for this celebration of the woman of God thank you for everyone that have come we pray as they leave this place they will carry their blessing home all the blessing that have been rained upon this woman of God today shall be a lasting blessing. And everyone that have come to witness this occasion, you will witness good things in life. And in life and destiny, no one will be abandoned. No one will be rejected. Stagnancy terminates in the name of Jesus. I will pray that as we do this, oh Lord, for the rest of our life, we enjoy God. Go in peace. Enjoy the presence of the Lord. 
And in the kingdom of the righteous, can't us worry to reign with God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. One, two, go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Praise the Lord. Please, um, we wow, it's been a beautiful day going on right here in Lagos State, Nigeria. I must confess that this indeed is a blessed day because at the moment we are having um, showers of blessing. Yeah, there's a downpour going on. It's raining at the moment. That shows that today indeed is a blessed day. A day worthy to celebrate one of our own assistant pastor, Oluremi Tinubu, as she celebrates her 60th birthday. Well, just before I leave, I have some, I have some little children and somebody who would also like to wish happy brother could you please come forward he's one of our mistress he also sings here in the reading christian church of god please come forward sir just come stop snapping me and come forward how are you doing sir thank you good afternoon good afternoon yeah, to you good afternoon good afternoon so what would you tell me about um assistant pastor senator luremi tunobu what do you know about her and what would you wish her today on her birthday i know a lot i know i know a lot and uh, but i couldn't say a lot inside but i'm going to say a few ones in few words mommy you are awesome I will never forget the time you spoke to me on the altar at camp. You said, Michael, run your pace slowly. Don't run too fast. You will get to your destination. After I won the award of the Musical Fiesta Initiative, it has been awesome time with you, time after time, that we meet. And your advice is still ringing in my brain. People will see me, Michael, why are you not doing this? I still remember. You told me. You don't run another man's race. Keep it cool. God bless you today. God bless you forever, mommy, in Jesus' name. Happy 68th birthday at Strong. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all you do for my wife, for my children. God bless you. Thank you so much, Michael. God bless you too for giving us your time. Well, I have some lovely children here who would also like to wish her uh, one of uh, wish her mom happy birthday. Could you come forward? Come forward, come forward. All right, what's your name? My name is Adesha Okay, what's your name? My name is Boju. I name is Boju. All right, so what would you like to wish Senator Oluremi Tinebu today on her birthday? Much. So, from everyone here at the national headquarters of RCCJ in Nigeria, the throne of Grace Parish, we are wishing you, Assistant Pastor Senator Olure Mitsunubu, a happy, happy city of birthday. Wishing you many more years in good health and sound mind. Don't tr trust us at your 70th, 80th, and even 90th. We'll be right here to celebrate with you. I'm Lilian Ogedebe. I want to say God bless you, everyone, for watching. This has been a live transmission of the 60th birthday of Senator Olure Mitsunubu. God bless you and have a great Sunday. Bye now.